Borstjuv is the center of the richest district of Ternopil in terms of architectural and natural monuments. In the times of Kievan Rus, there was an ancient Rus fortified settlement on the site of Borstjuv, and the first written mention of the settlement dates back to 1456. Then the city was owned by the nobles Dudinsky. Borstjuv received the Magdeburg rights and its own coat of arms in 1629. At the beginning of the 17th century, a castle was built in Borstjuv to protect against Turkish and Tatar invasions. The Roman Catholic Church of the Holy Trinity was built in 1763 in the courtyard of Borstjuv Castle. A large church tower is a rebuilt tower of the same castle. In addition to this tower, it is rumored that some underground passages have also been preserved from the fortress. From 1672, Borstjuv, like all of Podilia, was captured by the Turks. In 1683, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth regained the city. And after its first division in 1772, Borstjuv and western Podilia came under the rule of the Habsburgs. In 1774, the legendary Oleksa Dovbush and his army attacked the manor in Borstjuv. A local legend tells how a gentleman on his knees asked for pardon, gave a ransom, but Dovbush finally told him, I did not come here for your estates, but for your soul, so that you do not torture people anymore. For a very short time, from 1809 to 1815, Borshchev was part of the Russian Empire. After that, the town returned to Austria. At the end of the 19th century, it was a small but well-developed town with a railway, a tobacco factory, a distillery, a brewery, a paper mill, a brickyard, three hotels, and several temples. During the First World War, from August 1914 to July 1917, Borshchev was occupied by the Russians. In July 1919, Borshchev was the capital of the Western Ukrainian People's Republic. The government of the Western Ukrainian People's Republic, headed by Yevhen Petrushevich, moved here. Today, the local government of already independent Ukraine and the city council is located in the former town hall, a rather modest building without a traditional town hall tower. Of the old churches, the Church of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin, built in 1886 in the city center, has been preserved in Borshchev. Inside the church is a copy of the miraculous icon of the Borshchev Mother of God in a black embroidered shirt. A large bell tower with a clock was built next to the church during the years of independence. In 1891, the Prosvita Society was founded in the town. The Les Kurbas Theater operated in the city, and from 1896 to 1901, Mikhailo Hrushevsky visited Borshchev. The People's House, built in 1908, became the center of Ukrainian culture in the city. It is the brightest building in the city that has survived to this day. Mikhailo Hrushevsky, who was elected honorary chairman of the People's House, took part in its opening. Since 1976, the former People's House has housed a regional museum and consists of four departments, History and Local Lore, Tarashevchenko Museum, Art Gallery and Cave Museum, Verteba, in the village of Bilce Zolote. The museum houses archaeological collections, including Trapillian ceramics, a collection of embroidered shirts, a collection of works by Ukrainian artists, and exhibits from the history of Borshchev region from ancient times, household items, and ethnography. Verteba Cave, near the village of Bilce Zolote, in Borshchev district, was discovered in 1822 in gypsum rocks and is located on the left bank of the river Seret and has a total length of up to 8 kilometers. Its name comes from the ancient Slavic vertep, or nativity scene, which actually means a cave. It consists of wide galleries which are separated by narrow bridges. Vertaba Cave is a natural dungeon in which the walls are dotted with crystals typical of gypsum caves. In fact, it is a huge hall lying at a depth of 10 meters below the Earth's surface, which is supported by hundreds of columns and is considered one of the largest in Europe. Kontiski Fortress in the village of Krivce, Borshchev district, 
was built in 1639 by the Kuntyski family of Polish nobles for defensive purposes and is located on a high mountain above the river. Today, the fortress has survived only in fragments, the eastern and western towers, to the full original height and the defensive wall, only partially, to the level of the second tier. The western tower is well preserved, although the semicircular vault is lost. Under the ground in the castle yard, you can come across underground passages. Below the slope from the fortification is the gypsum cave Zamkova, which is 36 meters long. Kontiski Fortress is now part of the Ternopil Castles National Reserve and is one of the architectural monuments of national importance. The Church of St. Anna in the village of Ozeriane, Borschil district, was built at the expense of the Sapieha princes, according to the project of the architect Adolf Kuhn in 1875, in the neo-Gothic style, and is located on a hill near the road in the center of the village. The temple has survived to this day in excellent condition. The surrounding area is quite large, mostly open, and does not interfere with the view of the building from all sides. The sacred building is so high that it can be seen from any end of the village. The interior is decorated with wooden sculptures of saints and wood carvings depicting the thorny path of Christ to Calvary. The Church of St. Anna is a pearl of the Neo-Gothic style and is noted for its grandeur and sophistication. It is a functioning church and belongs to the Roman Catholic Diocese and is one of the architectural monuments of local significance. The Church of St. Nicholas in the village of Vasichka, Borschiv district, is a monument of wooden architecture of the Podilia school of the 18th century. Built in 1763, the church in Vesichka belongs to the list of architectural heritage of national value. Another attraction of the village Vesichka is the nearby castle. Unfortunately, only the remains of a few towers have survived. Close to the church are also the ruins of the church chapel of St. Cyril, which in the past served as the ancestral tomb of the noble families Tcharkovsky Golyovsky and was part of the palace and park ensemble and belongs to the architectural monuments of local significance. Decorating the entrance with columns is quite uncommon. All buildings are located on the edge of the cliff, which offers a beautiful view of the valley of the river Drapaka. The ancient Slavic cave temple in the village of Monastrok Borschiv district was founded in the 9th and 10th centuries in the times of the birth of Christianity in Kievan Rus, and is located on the steep left bank of the river Seret in the middle of picturesque nature. The ancient Slavic cave church is now a place of Christian pilgrimage. It impresses with its thousand-year history and is a functioning church and belongs to the architectural monuments of national importance.